Good morning YouTube. This is Guitar Worm with a, another equipment review. Today it is the custom PA50. So a 50 watt PA that is perfect for the uh, practicing musician, the bedroom warrior, and especially those people that maybe are doing a few acoustic gigs here and there. Okay, so I'll give you the rundown of this PA and then uh, I'll talk about what I've used it for. <laughs> First of all, I guess I've, I've had this PA uh, probably three years. Don't haven't kept track exactly. And one of my concerns before I bought it was when I looked at reviews online, the PA. Uh, a lot of people said that the PA burnt out. Not, not a lot, but there's a few people that said it burnt out within six months or a year, and they were disappointed with it. So I guess that was my biggest hesitation. There's a lot of other people that liked it, um, but I can say after three, roughly three years. And a fair bit of use, uh, it's still going strong and I haven't had any issues with it. So, what I typically, it's typically set up in my bedroom by my guitars and I plug my microphone into it and when I'm practicing, uh, I can sing along with the songs if I want. Um, I'm not a singer, um, so put your own mic into it and put a guitar through it. You do have, right, you got three spots to plug in. I'll get my face out of there. Just want to see what you guys see. So you can plug. You can see two mic spots there, and you got two your typical quarter inch uh, line out inputs. So right here, you can put mics. The best thing is you can put a condenser mic in here, um, which you need phantom power for. So if you don't know the difference between dynamic or a condenser mic, you, a dynamic mic you can just plug into your guitar amp and use it, like I've done in the past. Um, but if you have a condenser mic, then you can plug it into this. Works fairly well. You can also plug in uh, like an, like the cord you'd use in an MP3, iPod, cell phone, and those type of things. So, what you have EQ. You can see there you get your, your bass and your treble. And you got a volume for each channel. And then you actually have a master volume here at the bottom. And I can act, this works so well the three different channels. I actually just ran a talent show at my school with a, you know, probably two to three hundred people watching and the people singing and playing all went, I use this PA for everything. So it was loud enough and then if the guitar was too loud and somebody was playing I could just tweak just the guitar, I could tweak just the mic. It's all very simple and worked well. Okay, so 50 watts is pretty loud. It's, um, so like I said, a gym where everyone's supposed to be, gymnasium where everybody's supposed to be quiet. Uh, you could definitely put this in front of a few hundred people. Playing acoustic, you could plug your acoustic in and sing in, in a you know backyard party for sure. It'd be ideal. Um, I've used it. I've taken it to band practice and tried to use it. The drummer, my drummer in particular, is very loud. We've played other gigs and he's by far the loudest drummer. Um, so it didn't work well for that where we were plugged in using distortion, heavy music. It wasn't loud enough. Maybe two of them would be loud enough, I don't know, but that's so, I don't recommend it for a full out band, unless you're generally playing acoustic clean music that you're not cranking up, then maybe it would work, but I would, it's more for the, I'd say probably the bedroom warrior, or the guy that does maybe a lot of acoustic gigs, um, just at, you know, the local pub, uh, it would work ideal for that, that would definitely be loud enough, okay? Like I said, I've used it three years, I've, I, Typically plug into my guitar and amp, and usually when I do, I turn on the mic, turn on the PA. So I, it's probably run most days, and there's been lots of days where I've left it on by accident, so it's been on all day long. So anyways, I've had no problems with this PA lasting. The quality, I mean, is pretty good. I mean, it's still, it's a cheaper PA, so it's it's about bang for your buck, like I was just discussing in the comments with uh, one of my new subscribers. So for bang for the buck, I've been very happy. It's done the job. Um, before I had wireless Bluetooth, I was taking this, if I had people over in the backyard with a campfire, I'd take it in, you could plug your cell phone in or your uh, iPad, whatever, wherever your music's located, right? Plug it in, have all your tunes cranking in the backyard, um, which was really handy. Like I said, I just use it for a talent show. So it's actually come in, in use for a lot of different things that I never expected to use it for when I bought it. When I bought it, it was just about me having a mic and a PA that's not too big that I could sing into and practice with. And maybe uh, I knew I could use it for the occasional portable gig with my acoustic if I wanted to. So, anyway, I'll just talk through the mic so you get a feel for that. 
check, check, whoops, it's pretty loud. Check, check, so I can adjust the mic volume, which seems a little extreme right now, so I'll just turn it down. Just a chord. That's the bass and the treble at 12 o'clock. If I crank the bass, you'll get this. I'll turn the treble down. bass down and the treble up. So you get an example of what it I mean just put it back to twelve.